A new study shows fast carbs like white bread are no more likely to cause weight gain than slow carbs such as whole grains. Fast carbs are also known as high GI foods because of their high blood sugar index. Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike joins us now. Good morning, Dr. Mike. Thanks for joining us. Always a pleasure, Leslie. I think we need about an hour show to talk <laughs> about this, but we can break it down a little bit here. Okay, glycemic index. That's a term that we use to describe the amount of sugar and refinement, if you will. So let's take a piece of white bread or a, a donut. Okay, high glycemic index. Mm -hmm. Now, you ingest that, it makes your blood sugar go up because the body doesn't need to work too hard to metabolize it. Thus, the phrase fast carbs, as opposed to a piece of chicken or steak. That is a low glycemic index type food. That requires the body to work really hard to break it down. Now, what this study tried to do uh, is to say, hey, uh, you can eat uh, the donut and stuff uh, and, and we'll control for everything. Uh, and we didn't see that you gained any weight. The, the problem that, that a lot of uh, nutritionists and dietary experts have said uh, regarding this is the, like, look, um, the study was was really uh, hard to control for because, for instance, let's take a banana. All right, Leslie, you have a banana for breakfast. If you add a little bit of peanut butter, yes, they're high glycemic index, but that peanut butter has protein in it and it changes the way the body metabolizes everything. And so therefore you may not gain weight. But as far as I'm concerned as an internist, uh, things that are highly processed, uh, things like white bread, donuts, all of those things, they go right into your body, raise your blood sugar up, and then it drops precipitously, causing damage to the lining of your arteries. So mm -hmm. it's best to have a little bit of that, but mix it with protein and even some fat to allow your body to get all the nutrients it needs and not gain weight. Right. Dr. Mike, this is so interesting. And, and this study doesn't even take a look at the effects of how your body is breaking it down in terms of, of gut health. Is that correct? Well, you're talking about the microbiome. That is the bacteria that are in your intestines. And this is the future of medicine, in my opinion. We're, we're learning so much about how the bacteria in your intestines affects your health. It's called the microbiome. It's, it's an area of, of amazing uh, research, and that's down the road. But as far as uh, 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 your family and you and everybody else, with our kids, studies have shown since the pandemic, they're eating more and more junk food, and they're eating a lot of stuff that makes them gain weight. So instead of the cereal, because it's easy and it's highly processed, you might want to do something where you get some protein in there, maybe with uh, the, the waffles, something like that. I have young kids at home, and mm -hmm. bottom line is I made dinner because my wife was out with her girlfriend Saturday night. We made a caprese salad, and then we cooked up some chicken on the grill, and I'm trying to teach my kids how to eat right. Oh, and by the way, uh, they have never tasted soda. They drink naturally flavored carbonated water, and that's really an amazing thing to get your kids to do because it's just a big calorie sink of high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. Terrible. There you go. Well, some great tips, and it sounds like we're headed to your house for dinner. Thanks, Dr. Mike. <laughs> I, I make a mean caprese with some mozzarella cheese, some mm. extra virgin olive oil, some basil and thick uh, big steak tomatoes. Come on over. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Dr. Mike.